So in this video, we'll be looking at some of the mis uh, common misconceptions or mistakes uh, made by students in uh, chapter two, which is cell division. So the first thing is knowing what cell cycle and what mitosis is. Uh, the book briefly mentions about uh, cell cycle, but not in enough detail for you to realize that actually it is really, really important. The cell cycle is this entire thing. It's basically uh, the whole cycle, a life cycle of a single cell. So every cell will undergo cell cycle uh, multiple times until a certain point only. It is not the same as mitosis. Mitosis actually is only a very small part of the entire cell cycle, only about 5% really. 95% um, of the time they're doing something else. So mitosis is by definition what we call nucleus divides, but you have to know a little bit more detail about that than that, and you need to know the actual process of it. Please do make sure you learn the process of the whole mitosis, which is um, where the DNA replicates and then they split uh, once to make two genetically identical daughter cells, like cloning. And the rest of the time within the cell cycle is actually what we call interface, but that's a new word that you will learn in A-level. And during this whole, uh, the rest of the time when it's not doing mitosis, um, it's preparing itself for mitosis. So DNA and other organelles replicate preparing for the division. Because you need two things, you need two copies of the same thing in order when you divide, you will get the same thing on each side. So be aware that they are different. The next thing is about uh, what uh, how do we describe the products of mitosis? Now, we've, I've been saying mitosis produces two genetically identical daughter cells, and that seems very straightforward. But what uh, the, the way that Mark schemes usually phrase it is, number one, it's knowing the number, right? It's making two genetically identical daughter cells, whereas in meiosis, it makes four. And the other thing is, very commonly, people say mitosis produces two identical daughter cells. Now, that's not sufficient because you have to say that they are genetically identical or the fact that the DNA is the same. If you miss that out, you're missing a very important uh, detail and actually the most important point about mitosis is that they make genetically identical daughter cells, right? They have to be the same genetically. So you have to say that DNA is exactly the same on, uh, in both of those offsprings and it's exactly the same as the parent cell. So make sure you know and you include the word genetically in with identical. The third thing is about uh, knowing what stem cells are. The most common thing is that they think stem cells are cells that are found in the stems of plants. Understandably why you would say that, but that is utterly uh, incorrect. The stem cells are cells that can differentiate into, well, any cell type. There are different types of stem cells, okay, totipotent, pluripotent, uh, multipotent, etc. Uh, and they can be found at different stages throughout your life, so either when you're an embryo or when you're an adult. Uh, but the key thing is that they, can, they have the ability to differentiate or specialize into other cell types such as uh, red blood cells, white blood cells, or muscle cells, neurons, etc. So they're not found in the stems of plants simply like that, but you can find them in animals and plants, and that's what it is. Leading from that point is about, okay, specifically plant stem cells. Most people know where to find animal stem cells or ad in adults, which is in the bone marrow. So if you think about leukemia patients, then you can do a bone marrow transplant, which is get healthy bone marrow, healthy stem cells, adult stem cells from humans, and then uh, give that to leukemia patients to, to allow them to make um, new and healthy red blood cells. But most people don't know how to, where to find the plant stem cells. They very commonly say that they can find it in the stem, which is again, like I said, uh, incorrect. Here are the four possible things you can put down in the question, which is number one, the meristem, right? This is a technical term, meristem. So we say that this particular area within, so this is the um, a, a diagram of a root, and uh, the meristem is a section within the root that contains the stem cells or we can say that this is the zone of meristemic tissues or the zone of division by mitosis. Or you can say the tip of a shoot if it's growing into a stem or the tip of a root if it's growing into a root. So this whole bit is the root, but it's only found in the tip of the root, not throughout the entire thing. So it's important you have to say that it's found in the tip of the shoot or the tip of the root. If you just say found in shoot or found in the root, you will not get the mark. Make sure you include the word tip. 
Uh, or you can say it's between xylem and phloem, but that's uh, most people sort of remember that it's in the meristem or the tip of the shoot or the root. If we look into a little bit more detail about the root, you can see, like I said, that's the root cap, so with the very edge of the uh, of the root, uh, and uh, the meristem is found the next level up. Then if you go further up, then you've got the, zo uh, the zone of elongation. So this part onwards is no longer the tip of the root. So that's why I say it, that's why it's so important to say the tip. Zone of elongation, where the cells that are made from the meristem, or, or the stem cells uh, developed from the meristem, are going to become bigger. And then once they get to this part, they become, uh, they, they're able to differentiate into uh, other cell types. So in this case, differentiate into root cells or root hair cells. So be very aware of where you find the stem cells, which is in the meristem. Then finally about B2 is uh, sometimes there are questions that ask you to evaluate the use of stem cells or the use of different types of stem cells. So like I said, uh, comparing embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. Now, in most cases, most of the situation I've seen so far is that, that they have maybe a bit of information given to you. There's a mini paragraph that you have to read and then they say evaluate, right? Now, first of all, two things here. Number one. The evaluate, the word evaluate. This word means you have to say what's the good thing about it and what's the bad thing about it. So you have to say both the advantages and disadvantages of a particular thing. You can't just say this is good because blah, 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 blah. Even though that you've elaborated on that one, if you don't tell me what's bad about it, you still won't get the full uh, six marks. And that's usually a similar question. So you must say both the good side and the bad side, and perhaps give a, 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 a short conclusion as to why you think that one should, should be better than the other. Right, so make sure you say both good and bad about certain things. And also, like I was saying, in most cases they give you information. Please, 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 don't skip that entire paragraph and go straight to the question. The exams will give you information or they will spend, let's say, half a page telling you or showing you a picture, there is a reason for it. It's not like in the textbook when they're trying to give different types of information. If they do that in an exam, that means that it must be important. Please make sure you read through all of the information given to you in exams before answering these questions. It doesn't matter if it's a six mark question or anything else. If it, there must be a reason they give it to you. Okay, so please make sure you do read the information given and use that in your actual answer. Because if you're not, if you don't do that, you're just you know, you're just wasting a very good opportunity when they're actually giving you the answer in the exam and you've just simply not bothered reading and then you've lost, uh, you know, uh, lots of marks in a six month question. So make sure you read information given. So that's pretty much it. All of the uh, misconceptions usually found in B2 cell division.